Hi all, just got a shuttle run running around and the ECOS is controlling this via the um, ESU feedback module which has got 16 inputs. So I've got two inputs on the station so the ECOS is controlling the uh, small shuttle train there. Just doing a simple run round from one side of the station to the other. So that's fine, it works great. Uh, but if you want a more advanced automation, you've got to go over to the software, proper software packages on the computer. So I want to automate a couple of the yards, the one on the right hand side, the one with a crane, and various other areas. I, I, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I've been looking into it on various packages, one of them's is iTrain. Um, not using that anymore, it's too complex and I've had too many problems with it. Cannot get it working properly, that's all. Um, the second package is Train Controller, which is fantastic. Got that working, no problems, but again, it's the price is, is for the package I want on Train Controller. The price is uh, probably about 500 plus euro, and plus you've got to pay for the updates, etc. So I came across another package called Rock Rail. Now I've got it set up on the computer. It's took me ages to get it all sussed out and get the system logged onto it and, and just learning as I go. One step at a time. Because it is really uh, quite complex automation. But it's something I want to master so I can have a layout completely doing random uh, schedules and trains running around without me getting involved so I don't have any risk of crashes etc and people are watching it when they come to see it so yeah I've got it just pan around let's try and get it back in focus so I've got rock rail there now and it is a a very advanced package I do highly recommend it but for, for beginners like myself it's quite difficult to get into and to get it all set up so at the moment I've got a simple inner track laid out stations there a small station and there's two blocks to simulate going from one side to the other and you can see the red light change to green it's going around this in a loop now when it gets to this side the red light will light up and that's simulating so so the system knows where the train is and that's as far as I've got up to now I've got my points uh, on, logged on the system that's no problem I've got, I can sort all my points out I can control chain um, engines That should turn red, hopefully. Yep. Um, and I've just got the sensor monitor to suss out what address is uh, appropriate for whatever sensor I'm putting in position. The sensor monitor identifies what address should go to what sensor. Now it's took me ages just to get this far. But well, eventually, when I get this up and running properly, it'll be pretty good. Of course, this package is free. It's made by Model Railway Enthusiasts, and it's a free package, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, you can donate, if you want. Whatever, whatever, how much you want to donate. You don't have to. Well, if I get this up and running, I will be donating to this, because I think it's a brilliant package. And it's constantly updated all the time. So, and you can have it working in uh, real time with a the clock there. Or you can speed it up. So that's just what I've been doing for now. Um, and I know another advanced user is uh, Robert Van Ulen. He uses this and he's one of the advanced specialists in this area of this programming. So, 
I might be getting a bit of advice off you, Robert. But yeah, I've managed to sort out my sensors. The next stage will be uh, actually try and make a train run from one block to another. So, yep, that's what I've been doing. Thanks for watching.